Hi guys, welcome back. Hey everyone that is new and today, this week's reading, we are doing Does He Love Me? Timeless. So any reading that I do on YouTube is timeless anyway. Um, it's how psychics work. We can kind of tap into the past, present and future. So anytime that you watch the readings, it is the time that you are meant to be watching them. But I wanted to specifically put the timeless part on this so that you were aware of it. So basically it's Does He, She Love Me? Do they love me? Okay, now I've got two decks for you to pick from and I felt like I wanted to use more gentle decks today. Um, so I want you to go to the deck that you are most drawn to. So this is deck number one. This is from a woman who is in Glastonbury, uh, Linda Ravenscroft. She does beautiful artwork. If you ever want to check out her website, type her into Google. Beautiful artwork. Uh, I used to have quite a bit of it in the, over the years that's kind of just gone up into the attics, but I'll probably bring it down for our little girl. Deck number one. And it's the, sorry, it's the Mystic Fairy Tarot, okay? And deck number two is the Crystal Visions Tarot. So I want you to go to the deck that really captivates your energy. Go to the colours, the energy that you feel on the deck, and we'll take it from there. So as always, it's on the mutual energy between you all. If you want to message me for private readings, uh, you can find me on Instagram. I am on maternity leave at the moment, uh, but I will be working a certain odd day. So if you do need me, just drop me a message. Instagram, Facebook, Mr. Love Tarot, or you can use my website. So let's get cracking. Do they love you? You tell me, the person at deck number one are asking about, do they love them? So, let's see where we end up. Now, I'm getting um, the song, as I'm going into the energy, and it's one of the, the Taylor Swift songs from the Torture Poets Department. Now, a lot of you know that I'm a bit of a Swifty, um, but this song that you're getting is I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. So right off the bat is this suggestion over here that there is these emotions for you guys, um, but you're not quite sure what you're, where to go with your life, what you're doing with it at the moment. So you are kind of just rocking through it with a, with a bit of a broken heart. Let's get two more. But do they love you? So for those of you that read tarot, you've got Seven of Pents, Hermit, Lovers, Strength, and the Empress. Okay, interesting. Oh, and over the top over here, we've got Ten of Wands as well. So we'll use that too. You can't actually see the cards at all, can you? So you still can't see the cards. Um, so what's kind of happening over here? So those of you who read tarot, like I said, seven of wands, hermit, lovers, empress, strength. Let's start out with these, okay? So in tarot, we have major arcanas. Major arcanas are the big shit that is going on. And there are 22 major arcanas per tarot deck, okay? Now, the fact that I've pulled five cards for you and four of them are major arcana, this is showing that this is a major situation that is impacting the person's life that you are asking about. So straight off the bat, we have these very strong emotions for you, these very strong feelings, this feeling of intensity. Now, sometimes when we have intensity, we get that negative heavy energy that comes from it as well. And Spirit is saying to me the words ruminating. So your person is ruminating over the situation with you at this point in time. So they're having a thought, they're thinking it through, they're analysing it and they are overanalyzing it. So let's talk them through. Reflection, the hermit. Your person at this point in time is probably either took a step back from the situation, got a bit quiet, potentially gone a bit ghost, and has left you feeling a little bit with a broken heart, unsure on what to do over the connection. Now, the hermit, when they go into retreat mode, when your person goes into retreat mode, they are seeking answers. And when we're asking about, do they love you? They're seeking answers of their emotions, okay? So it looks like they are doing a little bit of soul searching at this point in time. They are really thinking things through um, and analysing their own emotions. I feel that for a lot of your people, they have kind of always brushed their emotions under the carpet. Um, and with you, there really isn't anywhere for their emotions to stand. So it bring, comes up to the surface. You know, they have these feelings come up to the surface and it can frighten them. So they reflect on it and they go to this kind of place of inner healing to try and sort themselves out and try and work out what's actually going on. So this is why your person's a bit quiet at the moment. 
We've got strength coming up as well. Okay, so strength indicating what it says on the card. They're going to this point of finding their strength. Again, it's most likely to be related to stuff that's happened to them previously. So if they've had crap go on with them previously, they're now finding that place of inner strength through reflection, which will help them work out what to do over the connection. The other two cards are good, okay? So, I mean, these aren't bad, but they're a bit wishy-washy when we're asking, do they love you? Lovers and empress, both of these are signifying that there is potential for the two of you and that there are emotions and that they can see a future with you. And they can also see it for the longer term as well with the empress. They can see it being dreams coming true, things coming to life, new life coming to them, okay? New life coming to you. With the lovers, we have got these emotions coming up to the surface for you. Very strong feelings. But as we said with the hermit over here, they're just reflecting on it at this moment. So very strong feelings, very strong emotions and the sense of reflection. We've got on the lovers, we have a sense of apples. The apples signify fertility. Um, if you ever do fertility magic now, if... Well, actually, it won't be now because I'm pre-recording this, but you will, um, any kind of apple blossoms and things like that that you can burn into an incense is really good for bringing someone into your life for love. Um, you can also, if they come out your house, make an apple pie. Very, very good way of kind of love magic. You can um, share half an apple with someone. That's also a very good way of um, kind of bringing that love magic into your life. Apples really resonate with love frequency. OK, so any magic that you do, if you it involves apples, it's all about love. So it's really cool. Um, I like to, in this kind of spring, when I'm recording this, take the apple blossom off my apple tree, who's also likely called Guinevere, just to let you know. I pull the apple blossom off Gwynny and I make it into an incense and it goes around my home, fills my house with love. So very strong love. We've got your person over here with scars, okay? So they've been wounded in the past, which we've already spoken about. That wounding, love will prevail, spirit saying to me, okay? So even though things might be sticky with you guys at the moment, love is there love will prevail things will pull through the empress like i said you've got the harvesting you've got the gestation period so whenever the empress comes up it's like everything's going to fall into place you'll get what you want your dream life is coming but it can take a gestation period it can take a bit of time it's like pregnancy you don't just go and get pregnant one day have your positive pregnancy test give birth the next day you have a nine month gestation period and like with all magic really some magic happens very fast some magic has a slower period this is a slower gestation period the empress on this card having the wheat sheaf on her so what this means is that you will reap the benefits it just takes that gestation period okay so you know like in the pagan wheel of the year you you set your seeds out to to harvest and by you know so in lunasa that's when the harvest happens and the last uh, festival is is lunasa so you have this harvest time okay so it has got a bit of a gestation period but it also shows that you will get what you want spread the seeds now tell the world what you want tell the universe what you want tell spirit what you want and let it all fall into place so the last card coming up over here is seven of pence so when we're talking about your person and their feelings for you like i said they are working it through at this point in time there are emotions there um i feel that they want to let those emotions expand and play out how they need to but there are feelings there and those feelings can develop and grow seven of pence is talking about sowing the seeds and then having things grow from that so like a bit like the harvest over here you know they're sowing the seeds for this relationship in the future and now it's going to be reaping the benefits of the harvest that come from it. So there are positives here about love. It's a growth. It's more about a growth period for you guys. So love will grow. Even the emotions are there. There's just that fear factor that comes with that. So giving that downtime, love will grow. It looks like they're falling in love with you. Now that is your collective reading for deck number one. Like I said, if you need me, drop me a message, Mr. Love Tarot, um, Instagram, Facebook or website, or you can email me, Mr. Love Tarot at gmail.com. I am on maternity leave, so it might take me a little while to get back to you, but I am doing occasional days um, work. So drop me a message, let me know. Lots of love, deck number one okay and on that note i'm scooting over to deck number two so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on i am on maternity leave at this point in time i cannot believe it uh, but i am recording this video in advance for you so what we're doing today is do they love you and it's a timeless reading all my video readings on youtube are timeless and um, reason why is because psychics dive into the past present and future that's how we work so technically the time that you watch this is the time that you are meant to be seeing it three oh 
these are good cards. Do they love you? Oh, let me get one more and I'll tell you what you got. Oh, let's do that again. There's a hand slip. Also a hand slip. Okay, let's do it. I want one more. There we go. Right. Yo's of you the tree tarot. Six, six of wands, ten of cups, the world, ten of pence, five of cups. Overall feeling, yes. Okay, so if you wanted to stop the reading now, the answer is yes, there are very strong emotions and feelings here for you. Um, so let's delve a little bit deeper into it. I just want to do a clarifier for you on the five of cups because all the other cards are very... Okay, that's your energy. All the other cards are really positive. And then you've got the five of cups thinking, feeling a bit fed up with this situation, a bit miserable. Everything's gone a bit to shit. And um, when I'm asking why, for the clarifying card, you've got the high priestess. So just quickly, just to talk, talk to you about this, this is you guys watching and your energy. Um, or if it is your person, they're feeling a little bit upset by the situation at this point in time, but it is short lived, okay? So anywhere that the energy might be heavier or harder or a bit harsh at this point, it is short lived, this will be overcome. Okay. Um, and I just got a song, um, but it's in Brazilian. It is Maria, Maria Mendonça, Supera, uh, which means overcome. Okay. So I believe that the, the song lyrics are all about overcoming a relationship, but this time it's kind of overcoming fears and the battles and the wounds that come with a relationship. Okay. So so better overcome and if i if i've got that wrong any of my portuguese brazilian fans out there do shout me let me know and write it in the comments say ali not quite right um still learning portuguese still doing a, a rubbish job at learning it um but you know i'm trying i'm trying and i, I feel when my kids are a little bit older i was looking early i'm going to enroll at um college to learn it because now i'm like 37 i just can't learn things the way i used to plus baby brain it's just not working um so just a side note, so better overcome any battles that you and your person are going through is going to overcome. Now, there are emotions for you. Ten of pence, ten of cups. Let's start off with these two, the tens, endings, new beginnings, two tens, ten, ten, endings, new beginnings. Um, and I remember before I ended my marriage, I was in my car and it's at the time at night was ten, ten. And I was like, oh, what does that mean? And that's when I realised then that this was kind of the, the turning point in me closing a chapter and a beginning a new one now when we're looking at this with regard to love this is a closing of a chapter and a beginning of a new one for you okay love emotions feelings family joy happiness both these cards are beautiful cards both these tens in tarot are have a high frequency have high love vibration okay so even though i'm talking about my i'm just signifying the ending of a relationship 10 10 and the beginning of something new so if things have been five of cupsy for you and it's been a bit shit and we're doing some supera um you've got the new beginnings coming up for you guys that are based on love romance and family too cute you've got the moon which is crescent so this is growth okay growth of love happening for you guys um things starting to be illuminated love being illuminated between the two of you um potential for families kids white picket fences all that beautiful stuff that you might want in your life might not but if you do want it you've got the potential you got the ten of pence over here dogs for protection looking after you we have the deer for uh Kernanus, who is the god of the hunt and he will be there to help you reach your goals OK, so love being guided by spirit as well. Beautifully. Six of ones in the world coming up, successful outcomes happening. OK, lots of success, lots of joy. So when we're looking at their feelings for you and their love for you, there are these very strong emotions. It might not quite be where you want it to be right now, but there is love here. There are very strong feelings here very strong emotions but then the other thing is they're long term you know it's not like a wisp in the a wisp in the park or um oh what's that that was um lavender marillion song the spirit just gave me that um i was walking in the park dreaming of a spark so we've got a song coming in for that and that song is based around love and it says a penny for your thoughts my dear so you've got this very strong feelings and emotions there and that song is absolutely beautiful um when i'm with you when i miss you baby you will miss me I was like, you have to go listen to it it's quite an old one um but successful outcomes and joy and love 
and meridian lavender top it up lavender as well really beautiful frequency of bringing peace and calm into a relationship so um you know you can drink lavender tea if you like it you can use lavender salts you can um you can create lavender in your bath lavender candles all of that kind of stuff will really bring that calming energy if you are feeling a bit five of cups if it is feeling a little bit heavy at this point in time that lavender energy and frequency will bring things to you also when manifesting lavender is such a high frequency when i do manifestation plans i tell people to dab lavender on stuff that they put on their altar because it's the highest vibration and it's the highest colour. Well, one of the higher vibrations, rose, is even higher. But it's a high frequency and it's a high colour. Um, rose as well, to bring in love. Rose is a really good one. And I spoke about apples uh, previously in, in uh, deck number one. But those things, you could do a rose and lavender bath mix. All that kind of stuff will help get you away from this five of cups and bring you into this six of wands of success. There is a love there for you. Beautiful beautiful excited to see where that one goes so if you need me drop me a message deets in the comments um i am on maternity leave at this moment in time okay i am on maternity leave i will respond when i get a chance and i am doing occasional what they call kitsch days which means keeping in touch but keeping in touch day um so i will be working odd days in this nine month period oh my god nine months off this um but if you stay up to date on Instagram, I'll give you all the updates. I'll let you know how me and Bubba are doing and uh, when I'm doing the special days you can book in. All right, guys. Lots of luck. Do you like my pencil, by the way? <laughs> lots of luck, guys. I'll speak to you later. Ciao.